You know, um, having uh, two girls in the school, what I have observed over the years is really the confidence. Allowing them to be um, self-enabling, uh, resilient, really um, taking on challenges with an open mind, um, having a curiosity and, an and the ability to explore, I find that has really been really key. In terms of actually academic preparation, I find that to also be very solid. Um, when my children got into the school, what I noticed was their ability to take on math, for example, which was a challenge for one of my daughters when she got here. It's not a challenge anymore because she actually is, has been given the core principles by the teachers along the way, which has enabled her to really be much more self-resilient about her ability in math. When she got here, she had a doubt. She has that doubt no more. I would describe the SCH community as engaging. Um, from the earliest days of my first arrival on this campus, a parent actually um, encouraged me to volunteer. Uh, it's not something I had done in the past as it relates to my children's schools, um, but that parent was very passionate about it. Um, the second parent I engaged actually told me the same thing. So it became clear to me that I must volunteer. Um, and then what I find is that that engagement by our parent community is actually the extension of what's allowing our kids to be educated the way they're being educated. School does not end at the end of the day. It does not end at the, the borders of SCH. It does not end at the borders of Chestnut Hill. It actually extends into the home and it extends into that reach. The, in addition, the combination of parent and teacher, parent and faculty communication, where they become one, where the kids are at the center of that oneness, I think is really what uh, makes this community very special.